Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And unless you've been hiding under a log for the last week or so, you already know what I've got to say today, but I can't help it. I've got to show you anyways. And that is DJ, my wife, is the proud new, uh, would you say grandma? Of a brand new baby mini donkey. Is that right, Bear? Freedom had her baby. Did you know that? Bear, did you know Freedom had her baby? It's like it's the most exciting news we've had around here in forever. Outside of it being 147,000 degrees. Because it has been miserable hot around here. And uh, anyways, DJ's posted a couple videos. Um, if you follow us on Facebook, you already know. But uh, Freedom, about a year ago, went to uh, Marie's house at Random Oaky Farm. And Marie has a little jack, a mini jack donkey, that uh, looks like this. He looks a lot like Pharaoh right there. And uh, the reason DJ wanted to breed Freedom to uh, Brandon, which I think he's got more white on him than Farrah does, but is because she wanted more spotted donkeys like this instead of just your standard gray. Nothing against you, Fallon. You're very pretty, you know? You are a very pretty girl. But DJ wanted more of a, a spotted colored donkey. So, without further ado, meet our brand new baby. I haven't fed everybody yet this evening, so uh, these girls are literally being a pain in my butt as I walk away from them. But, Freedom, um, let's see, this is her third baby that she's had with us. The first one uh, was a male and looked just like her. That was uh, baby Kane. And then the second is Fallon over there. And when Fallon was born uh, last year in February, we had to uh, actually assist in her birth. I came outside one morning to bottle feed this little pain in the booty because she was on the bottle for several months. And while I was bottle feeding her, I noticed Freedom was in labor and was having troubles. Freedom's having a baby, and I came out to uh, feed the, the little donkey. You can see this dirt. Look at the dirt all the way around her. <sighs> Is the baby all right? Freedom, how long have you been here like this? Oh, push. You need to push. There you go. There you go. Push, Freedom. Come on. Come on. Push. Okay. Push. Oh. Come on. Push. Oh, yeah. Come on, Freedom. Push, baby. Come, Come on. on. Had a girl. Come on, Freedom. Come on. We're almost there. It's got, there you go. Yeah. He's got his eyes open now. Okay. Come on, Freedom. I knew this baby was big, but that gum. I've never, never had to pull a donkey or a horse like this. Gotta get these hips out, baby. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on, Freedom. Give me a push. Come on, Freedom. I need you to push. Oh, come on, Daniel. Oh, there it is. There it goes. There it goes. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. It's alive. Oh. It's so, alive, Freedom. It's, Rufus, you're going to get kicked, buddy. It's so cold out here. It's pretty chilly. Oh, my goodness. It was like 78 yesterday. It's not right now. No. Good girl, Freedom. I'm so shocked that Freedom's letting me do this. The last time. Yeah. The last time she had a baby, she wouldn't let me anywhere near her or the baby. But hopefully, <clears throat> she, I mean, maybe she knows that we probably just saved her baby in her life. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure she's exhausted. You can see the dirt. I mean, yeah. they may have been out here half the night like that. That might have saved his life. Her. Her. Sorry. Rufus? <laughs> you're scaring me, man. Mighty protector over there. <laughs> <laughs> can you get up? Huh? 
was so close. <laughs> Are you curious? So that brings us back to baby number three. And Freedom is hiding her from me. Aren't you, Freedom? Come here. What? You let me pet your baby? Hmm? Uh, Freedom is not a fan of letting anyone near her babies, which is understandable. She's a protective mom. We didn't raise Freedom on our farm. She was a she was an adult when we got her and did not like to be touched, did not like attention, was not halter broke. She wasn't like uh, the ones that are raised around here. Huh. And that's okay. Uh, when we had Fallon, you know, we had to pull her, had to assist the laborer. And Freedom was much more uh, on board with us being near the baby. And uh, this one... You know, DJ was out here the other day, and all the donkeys were sitting up on the hillside, and they come running to her, and uh, she didn't even notice there was a new baby at first, because Freedom had had it all on her own. So, this little baby is a girl, and she's almost just mostly white. Hey, are you jealous? Are you jealous because I'm talking about someone and it's not you? Mm-hmm. Is that the thing? Is that what's going on? And uh, as you guys can see just from what little bit of video we're doing here, Freedom uh, likes to keep the baby, you know, off to herself. And she has no issues with the other donkeys being in the pen at all. But she does not want us really messing with the baby or getting close to the baby, which is fine. That's understandable. But we do want to socialize the baby. So at some point, we're going to have to figure something out to where we can actually get closer and uh, love on the baby a little bit because she's less than a week old already and Freedom is kind of teaching her to be a little bit wild. And uh, here's, the, here's the problem we run into with Freedom is she's uh, very quick on her feet and she will absolutely kick you if you get too close to her baby sometimes. Just like that. So it's going to be an interesting process and uh, like I said this is a, a baby girl. Freedom has so far with us had two girls and one boy and uh, maybe eventually we'll get her to where we can love on her like the rest of the donkeys but there's a difference when you know she was a bottle baby, she was a bottle baby, you know any kind of animal that's raised on a bottle is uh obviously going to be more affectionate and want human contact Fallon over there was not a bottle baby but like i said we we did have to assist in her birth so she's always been easy to handle and gentle and she was raised with this girl who was a bottle baby and uh you know that really really helped so we don't want to put freedom in in like a small pen or a small stall right now it's just it's just so hot because while we do have you know two big stalls at the barn with a small pen off the front of them you know the stalls are 10 by 10 and the pens are about 10 by 16 i believe something like that we could put freedom in one of those stalls for you know a couple weeks or something but i just don't want to pin her up in anything that small because because it has been unbelievably overwhelmingly hot every day like today i think it was 107 with a heat index of 111 every day we're under you know severe heat warnings it's just dangerous heat and i don't want to put freedom through that in a small pen and cause her stress and all that so she's going to stay where she's at and as you can see mama and baby are doing just fine so Freedom will come up and eat treats out of our hand and things like that. And she'll let the baby get close, but she usually always tries to keep herself in between you and the baby. And uh, 
You get too close and those back feet come at you quick. These donkeys and alpacas can drink that entire water trough almost completely dry in a full in just one full day. I just dumped it out, so that's why it's empty right now. But I'm doing everything I can to uh, keep animals in water, keep animals in fresh water. I've got the sprinkler here for the alpacas. I turn that on a couple times a day, but uh, it's unbearably hot. I mean, let me show you. You know, we did get a big rain back early July, but it hasn't rained since. And uh, I showed you how the grass was all dying off the other day, but look at the cracks in the ground. We're getting huge cracks. We went through this drought last summer and it was way worse, but uh, we're getting we're getting into some pretty dangerous drought conditions around here right now. And it is uh, extremely hot and extremely dry. In saying hot and dry conditions, um, it's 7.30 p.m. right now and it's still 101 degrees. It does actually feel like it's cooled off some because the sun's starting to set. So it's not as uh, intense of a heat, but it's still hot. So anyways, I've got a few few vegetables for Houston's tortoises. He's going to stay back up here and fill up the donkey's water trough for me real quick. And uh, let's feed the rest of the animals and check on them. I've already, I've already watered everybody uh, twice today, so we're going to dump out water troughs and fill them up again because whew, the ducks and the geese down here make a mess out of them, and when it's this hot, it just I, I can't blame them. <laughs> Looks like Buddy the tortoise is trying to cool off in the water here. I brought you a few vegetables. I got some stuff for you, some salad. Some apples, some celery. You hungry? Mmm. Let's break the celery up a little bit. Oh, <laughs> one of the little turtles heard it was feeding time too. You a hungry little guy? Here, I'll help you. There you go. Charlie. The biggest bird of them all. Come on, I need to feed you separate. Come on, Charlie. You know how this works. Come get in your pen. In here, Charlie. Go ahead, I'll get you some food. You hungry, buddy? Hmm? Back up, hang on. Can I shut the gate? Fancy, does he yell like that all day long? I think he does, doesn't he? Hey, Pepper. What you think, sister? Is it just too hot for you out here? Copper's doing good. Isaac's doing all right. Old man Isaac there. Still getting around out here, aren't you, buddy? You don't do it in a hurry, but you still get around, don't you? Well, we're already having to resort to feeding a little bit of hay. They've uh, got a round bale of hay out back there. That's what's left of an, an alfalfa bale. I just throw them a couple flakes here and there, but the grass is, uh, what grass is left, there's not a lot of nutrition in it. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. We don't have the biggest pastures around here right now. And uh, I know that confuses a lot of people. 
And while we do live on 110 acres, um, most of it's not fenced off for goats and small animals and stuff. You know, our perimeter fences aren't that great, but I don't want to turn the goats and donkeys and alpacas out to roam 110 acres because, uh, well, first off, predators would probably not go not go over well with uh, the alpacas and the mini donkeys. I don't know. Maybe not. The coyotes might be a problem, but dogs are a bigger issue. Uh, feral dogs. People people turn their dogs. They, they go out in the country and they kick their dogs away, out, you know. And then they pack up and you get three or four dogs, big dogs running in a pack. They can be dangerous. But most off, most importantly, I, I don't want the animals wild. If I mean, you can see how freedom is. <clears throat> and we are around her every day. She eats out of her hand every day and she's still not gentle. Um, but this time of year, it just, man, it's like a desert around here. It's hot. It's dry. It's miserable. And uh, we do want what's best for our livestock, for our animals. But uh, that doesn't necessarily mean turning them out on 110 acres. We do have a few hay fields that we cut for hay. But other than that, most of this place, as you guys have seen over the years, is timber. So it doesn't grow a lot of good grass anyways. And uh, I know for a fact we are way overstocked. It just doesn't make sense for a normal far farm operation because we just don't have enough grass in the pastures. And... Uh, I don't know. YouTube farm's a little bit different than an actual farm for profit. Uh, we feed a lot more feed and hay and stuff than we probably should. Listen, you angry goose. Trying to give you guys fresh water as many places as I can, just for you guys to get muddy again in a couple hours. And here you just walk around here being mad all day, don't you? <laughs> so everyone at the barn is fed and got fresh water. Got a bucket of feed for uh, the donkeys and the alpacas. Um, I don't know, I say all that, I, I hate the way it looks around here right now. When it's this hot and dry and pastures look horrible, around the barn is just barren, nothing but dry dirt. Man, I, I know it doesn't look the greatest, but trust me, we do everything we can to try to take care of everybody as best we can and uh, give all of these guys the best life and the best nutrition we can, but... Uh, this is what we're working with right now. And the grass is no good. Hey, you two. Y'all gotta share the trough. Freedom, come on. Fallon's eating without you. Bring your little girl up here and have some supper. Come on, Freedom. Bring her up here. Bring the baby. Did you uh, leave her hiding behind that tree on purpose? Is she not allowed to come out and play? I see you peeking out over there. Are you gonna follow mom? If I walk down there, this one's gonna come after me, you watch. Hey little girl. We don't have a name for you yet. Maybe maybe DJ will come up with one soon. Your mama's up there eating. You gonna let me come close? Hmm? Come here. Come here. Mama's teaching you to be shy already, huh? Yep. Here comes mom. I didn't even get close, Freedom. You're just fine. What's the matter, Freedom? You got your eye on me? Hmm?
Hey, why won't you let that baby come by us, hmm? You're a good mom. I know you are, but we want to see the baby too. Hmm. Huh. Will you let me get close? Or are you saying that's close enough? Hmm? Here, what if I keep my distance and just make a circle around? All right, I'm gonna leave them alone. Let everybody eat supper and uh, yeah, new baby on the farm, new baby donkey. And uh, I'm sure you guys know by now, you're probably gonna see more of the baby donkey on DJ's videos than you will mine. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, she has her own channel there. It's called Do Your Best. She does all things baby donkeys, all things mini donkeys. And uh, on Facebook, we upload our videos to the same page on our family homestead. So. Anyways, I'm hot, I'm sweating, it's sticky, I'm going to go in the house and cool off. So guys, that's all i got for today. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.